Hey there guys, it is Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm, and we are back in Starfield today for another custom, uh, not so vanilla build in the case of this ship, but today we are going to go over the Shatterstar. Um, I took the Star Eagle and I transformed that into the Star Raptor, you can see that in another video, and then I took the Star Raptor and I trimmed it down into the shatter star uh, this is a really nice little ship it's fast it's got some decent cargo and man it just looks cool and uh, just flies like there is no tomorrow man uh, make sure that you uh, like subscribe and comment down below if you want to see some more custom ship builds uh, i usually go pretty vanilla uh, but in the case of the uh, Shatterstar, uh, there is quite a bit of uh, uh, snapping techniques uh, that I had to use uh, to do some kind of interesting things to make this trimmed down Star Eagle uh, into what this is here. Uh, but the lines are still the same, the engines are still the same, and it's got some pretty reasonable cargo, and uh, it's got a good shield on it because it's upgraded to a Class B on uh, its... Uh, reactor and grav drive and as you can see uh, all of the stuff is sort of hidden and tucked away uh, in a way that makes this ship look very sleek and uh, very fast uh, unlike some ships this ship boards in the rear uh, which is how i was able to do some of the things that i uh, wanted to do uh, which allowed me to add these uh, landing gear with the engines very cool very very cool but we'll go inside and take a look around. Uh, Time to get the ship. So we will come out into a Stroud Eklund 2x2 living quarters. Uh, very comfortable, lots of seating. And then all we have over here is a 2x1 Tayo captain's quarters. I chose the Tayo because I kind of like their captain's quarters. It's got a comfortable looking bed on it. Uh, compared to the Stroud Eklund, and as always, I like to have bathrooms on my ship. Uh, but we will go in, and those are the only two really living habs that you have. But one of the things that I did over here, though you see is really cool, is though it looks like there's a wall there, there's not. This goes out to the docker. Um, so it gets a little, a little buggy when you're coming in and out of the docker, but uh, you seem to be just fine. doesn't cause any issues. That outward uh, braking engine just sort of clips in right here and kind of makes it look like there's a wall there. So you barely even notice uh, the clipping effect that you have there. Um, but we do go forward and we are in a workshop, a two by one workshop. So we have ourselves uh, some workbenches. And of course it goes up into that very, very nice uh, Viking cockpit that comes with the Star Eagle. Um, we're gonna hop in the pilot seat and take off and so we can see this ship in space. It has a really great takeoff animation, and again, it flies really, really beautifully. Yeah, we just love this ship. It is, uh, the Star Eagle is my favorite ship in the base game. Beautiful ship, and it's great that it's free. Uh, and this is what I ended up with on my Star Eagle, is the Shatter Star. Like I said, it's got some really great lines on it. Um, and you can just see that the docker is nice and hidden up in that braking engine, and comes out. Uh, just a little bit outside of your landing gear. Very, very difficult to notice. Uh, you have to really look to notice that it's there. But it is, and it's hidden away, uh, just like the shield and uh, several other things that we got uh, clipped in here to where this ship looks really nice and sleek and it's flying through space. I just absolutely enjoy flying this ship. I wish uh, it had more cargo. I carry so much cargo on me now at this high level. Uh, that Class A and Class B ships just don't cut it for me. Uh, maybe one day I'll just dump it all and just fly around in whatever ship I want to fly around in. 
but uh, I'm still stuck with the Praetorian. Love me some Praetorian. Uh, so, but this, the Shatterstar, this looks so cool. I really enjoy this ship. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. We will uh, swap over to the shipbuilder and we'll go over real quick uh, what you kind of have to do to make this ship work. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, we are back in the shipbuilder and I have the Shatterstar pulled apart for the most part. Um, so we can go over how you're going to build this ship. Um, obviously, the first thing you're going to do is put in, put your little cockpit, he cockpit here. And behind that, you will put a 2 by one And behind that, you will put a 2 by 2 And then next to that, you will put a 2 by one um, And those can be whatever you want them to be. You could probably put a 2 by 3 here and turn this into a living quarters if you don't really want access uh, to the workbenches. You can rearrange this all you want, but you want it in this T-shape right here, and it needs to be three across. And then you will, of course, take and attach your shipbed 200 landing bay from Tayo. And then we will start putting on our gear. We will put uh, pinpoint uh, 3G landing gear here, and you can transform these into the different versions of that. And then you will have one right here. So you will have uh, six of these total, and they will go here, and then you'll have two that go in the back like so. Um, and so what we're going to need to do is we're going to take our, our stuff here. We're going to start with our gas tanks, and we're going to plunk that down right over the uh, ship bed, uh, the landing bay that we have, and then we're going to attach uh, our mag, for 104 DS mag inertia reactor right behind that. And then we're going to throw down the RD-3000 uh, beta grav drive from Redline right there. Um, and what you'll notice is there'll be a problem when you try to attach your uh, Stroud caps right there. It can be a little frustrating. But what we're going to do is instead, you know, we're going to add a couple of companion ways. And then what we'll do is, is we'll duplicate that down just like so. And we'll do the same thing on this side so that we can uh, put these Stroud Eklund uh, cap A's where we want them. <coughs> We're also going to do the same thing for the engines as well. So we'll have our engines ready, which is uh, these uh, SA4330 engines, really nice, super fast uh, Class A engines. And we're going we're gonna to pop this one up here, but we don't want it there. We want it down. Oh, and I can't put it here because we're in a different boy. So what we'll do is we will cheat the other way around. Uh, because I don't have these engines at this workbench, we can cheat the other way. And how we'll do that is uh, we will take those there and we will pull these off and we will go ahead and add this uh, cowling. There's multiple ways to do the uh, snapping tricks, but what we'll do is we'll put our cowling on here so that we can attach our engines. And then... I believe we can take and put this here. We'll duplicate that. There, let's pull this out. Duplicate this. No, we can't do that. I have to have the bed engine there. So, what is fighting me? Oh, it's going to fight me. That's what it's going to do. But what we'll do is we'll just keep duplicating until we can get the stuff we need. There we go. And then we'll add these ones here, and then we'll just duplicate that up that way, and then delete that. And then we'll duplicate this one up this way. There we go. More than one way to skin a cat when we're duplicating things. Um, and so that's how you're going to sneak uh, these landing gears in under your stuff. There's many ways to do that. I don't have these engines available at this 
uh, particular star, um, the star yard. Uh, I need to go all the way to neon for those. I forgot about that, but we can, we have other ways of sneaking them on there. So we will go ahead and put our uh, Demo spines here to create that nice tail fin that we like so much. And then we'll throw that on there. And we have, uh, I have two of these PBO 100 auto projectors that are gonna go right on top of that cowling. Nice little easy turrets to do. And we'll do this side over here first. We're just going to add ourselves a Nova braking engine, and it's going to go right in front like you see there. And then uh, we're going to have a Stroud engine bracer and two more of those engines. Uh, Aculander 11 landing gear over here, and then a Galleon S202, a cargo hold, and then two Stroud caps. Uh, and then, of course, our weapon mounts. I have some Vanguard obliterators and the PBO 50 auto projector beams because I like those weapons. And then we have two 200 CM ballast cargo holds uh, that go just like you see there. Uh oh, we didn't add this, but we'll go ahead and just pop it on the front. We won't hide it. And then we will put our uh, cowling here. And you know what? I think we can just go ahead and hide that. Underneath this, we'll transform that, and then we'll do that. Boom, we hit our shield again. That's how we hide our shield. We'll just do that transform. I don't know if that's where I had it, but I had it hidden. So we're going to have to do something a little bit crazy over here. What we're going to do is we're going to add our Stroud engine bracer, and then we're going to take this, um, this particular thing and we're going to add our engine there we're going to add this uh, braking engine and we're going to bring that uh, demos companion way back out we're going to attach it underneath here and we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate it we cannot duplicate that oh oh do i have the other one at this base i bet i don't that's just too bad all right, guys, I'm back at the other star yard where I have way more parts available to me. Um, I would recommend maybe not using the Hope Tech crosshabs here. If you don't have access to the Hope Tech star yard, you can use the Nova one in its place just as well and actually probably save uh, on a few mass by using the Nova cross passage. I'm going to go ahead and use it in this particular uh, instance. I think I passed it. There it is. But what you will do in order to hide this docker is we're going to go ahead and we'll just uh, we'll take a hab uh, companion way like we have here, and we're going to we're going to snap it right underneath that corner. What we want to do is have our braking engine already in place, and then we will take this Nova cross passage and we'll attach it to there. But then we'll duplicate it up. It's not working. This is just being one of those days. I don't know why this is fighting me uh, with so much vigor. Ooh, this is a heck of a fight this time around. All right, there it let me do it. Good Lord. What a fight that was. So yeah, you will have to fiddle around like a crazy person uh, to get that to work. Um, so what you will do here is you're going to want to uh, let's go ahead and put this cargo back on. You'll be able to add your should be able to add this just like you see there. And then what you'll do is uh, you can take and yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how I did it. You have to go three down on this one. It's a this is a this is a pretty wonky technique but it works and we'll duplicate that up and then we'll duplicate that up Woo, buddy just fighting this on every turn in it 
But that is how you will hide that docker. Uh, that did not uh, cause me that much trouble the last time. I will tell you that much. This time, I just it just was being very, very aggravating. But we got it to work. We'll go ahead and... Redo our Stroud Eklund there. I'll probably edit around that weird uh, argumentative <laughs> uh, snapping technique. But yeah, that is the Shatterstar, guys. Uh, it might take a little bit of work to hide that Docker. It's a real pain. It was being a real pain in the butt. Uh, but that is how you hide the Docker on this ship. Uh, that way you don't have it sticking out anywhere. And don't have any ladders whatsoever in your ship. Um, but yeah, that is the Shatterstar, guys. Uh, thanks so much for coming along. I hope you enjoy the ship uh, as much as I have.